I have set up an experiment to illustrate the effect of albedo on snow and ice melting. This is particularly relevant for Arctic snow and ice, as well as glaciers in other parts of the world. Albedo is a ratio between incoming and outgoing solar energy. In other words, it measures how much solar energy is reflected back. Light colors have higher albedos because they reflect more. I have set up two t-shirts, one white one with an albedo close to one, and one black t-shirt with an albedo close to zero. It is a fairly chilly but sunny day. The differences in the melting of the ice cubes will be observed over a period of about one hour and twenty minutes, which was reduced to a video in fast motion of about four minutes. Now let's observe the differential melting between the black and white backgrounds. At this point in the experiment, we can already see some melting spots around the cubes on the black t-shirt, while the white one does not appear to show that, even though there is less visibility on the white t-shirt due to a lack of contrast, we can still see the difference. At this time, one of the smaller ice cubes on the black t-shirt is starting to disappear and is only visible as a white dot. We can already see from this video that the experiment successfully demonstrated the effect of albedo on ice melting. This information is applicable to current conditions which, as a result of global warming, are producing mo more polar ice cap melting and which in turn lowers the albedo of the polar regions and accelerates melting. Air pollution, especially in urban areas, can also affect melting rates via the settling of particulate matter on accumulated snow and ice. Several methods of controlling the local surface albedo have been investigated, and these include various mulching techniques, as well as the use of artificial membranes. However, neither will reverse or even slow down the increasing trend of warming of our planet. And finally, near the end of the experiment, you can see that the ice cubes on the black t-shirt are almost completely melted, while the ones on the white t-shirt are still intact and almost as large as they began with. Now almost all the cubes are gone, and we can successfully conclude that the differences in albedo are the reasons for this differential melting. In other words, the white t-shirt has an albedo of 1 and reflects a lot of the incoming solar radiation, while the black t-shirt with an albedo close to 0 retains most of the heat.